So next we have the replace function. So what does replace do? Replace, like the mean uh, in the name, it replaces something for you. For example, we have, um, let's try this. Select replace. You have to pass three values. First is the one that needs to be looked into. Second is what to find. Third is what it to replace it with. So for example, I'm gonna say, mm, let's say, John Travolta. John Travolta. And we need to find Travolta and we can replace it with Tucker and close it. So now in it needs to go find um, John Travolta, find uh, in John Travolta, find Travolta, replace it with Tucker. So execute and you can see John Tucker. So that's easy, but what if uh, we have a this is an example of a sentence. So we can select replace. This is an example of a sentence. What we are finding in and let's see and and we want to replace it with not a and and we can close it so now rather than this sentence I'm gonna add a not and let's execute it this is not an example so what if I try to find I was saying like I want to show you how the space works like if I try to find a space s it will even find that so let's try this yeah control C I'm gonna quickly paste this here I'm gonna a space s <coughs> and we are replacing it with as so you'll see this space will be gone. Execute and you can see a sentence. So that's how you correct things, mistakes and all that. That's how you use the replace function. Replace function, you can actually, uh, it's very powerful. You can replace um, an entire column. For example, um, there's an value in there already. Uh, in calculation there's a mistake you can do the new calculation run a query to um, update the whole column that will be updated with the new value so we'll see that in the exercise from here I just want you to have this uh, clear understanding how replace works